Welcome to Tech Bottle Blog. This is episode number 24. This week I'll be discussing a software change that allows the analog ports to sample data more quickly. Now this is important because the analog ports on the camera axe are how a lot of the sensors are working and the faster that those can be sampled then the more accurate and quicker uh, the camera or flash can respond. I want to give a big thanks to GVI 70,000. He's the one on the forums that suggested I look into this. So here's the code I actually used to set up the faster analog reads. Uh, what I'm basically doing is changing the default uh, ADPS uh, settings from uh, triple one, which uses a division factor of 128 for analog reads to uh, 100, which will use a division factor of 16. So it should be eight times faster on the analog reads. And uh, yeah, there's a, there's a bit more detail in the comment there of the code, but um, basically it should be eight times faster by setting it up this way. Uh, the disadvantage is that the uh, code, or, or that the analog read will be a little less accurate, uh, but that's a fine trade-off for a use case like the camera I'm, I'm happy to trade a little accuracy or precision to get a faster analog read for our use case. So here's the setup I'm actually using to measure the lag introduced by the camera axe. Uh, this has the new software on it with the faster analog reads and what I've got is I've got the gate sensor plugged into uh, sensor port number one and I've got the flash plugged into camera flash port number one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph the uh, voltages of both of those and then the uh, distance between those in the x-axis is going to be the amount of time of lag between uh, this sensor being triggered and the, the flash being triggered. So if I turn on the flash, the camera axis is already active, so all I need to do is trigger the system. So what you can see here is that We've got the distance between uh, the, this yellow line is the gate sensor, and you can see that it drops off here. And the mic or the the flash is the blue line, and it drops off here. So the distance between those two drops is about 100 and. 12 microseconds. So I repeated the experiment a bunch of times with fast analog reads and found that I had an average of 90 microseconds of delay. And then I have had a variance of about 40 microseconds. And back on Tech Photo Blog episode number 18, I did this same experiment with the original analog reads and with uh, digital reads and these were the numbers I got there. So you can see that the uh, fast analog read is uh, a bit closer to digital than it is to the analog reads, which is uh, quite impressive, but not too surprising since these fast analog reads, the actual read itself should be about eight times faster. Uh, but there's a bunch of overhead in the rest of the software that makes uh, the gain, you know, about two and a half X instead of eight X, but still a really, a really good gain, I think. And I think this will make uh, the use of analog reads for a lot of really fast events much more useful in the camera axe. As for the accuracy and precision of the uh, faster analog reads, I haven't really noticed a difference. I think that it's, it's good enough for our use cases with the camera axe. So um, to me, it's, it's all win here. And I'd like to thank uh, GVI 70,000 again for the awesome suggestion. Thanks for watching.